Hello. In this video, we are going to consider the NP random uniform function that you have used to generate all the random variables that you've encountered thus far in this course in a little more detail. As you have seen in the programming exercises, if the variable u is set by calling the NP random uniform function as shown here, then u is set equal to a random variable between 0 and 1, as shown here. In other words, once this command has executed, the value of u will be somewhere in the range shown here. Let's suppose that we now set u using the following command, where the variable a has been set equal to a number of our choosing. For instance, a might be equal to 1.436. It is hopefully clear that once this command has executed, u is set equal to a number that is somewhere in the range shown here. u cannot be less than a as the lowest value that we will get back when we call np random uniform 0, 1 is 0. Similarly, u cannot be greater than a plus 1 as, this, as the largest value that np random uniform will return is 1. Now suppose that we further modify our command for setting the value of u as shown here. Now the largest value that u can take is b, some constant that we set, and the smallest value u can take is a, some other constant that we set. The reason for this is that np random uniform 0, 1, if that returns 0, then u will be set equal to a. If, by contrast, np random unif uh, uniform 0, 1 takes the largest possible it can, i.e. 1, then u will equal b minus a multiplied by 1 plus a, which is b. As you can thus see, we can write programs to generate continuous uniform random variables between any lower bound a and any upper bound b of our choosing by using the command on this page. Thank you for your attention.